I became a vegetarian because I felt it was really good for my body. Um, my nine-year-old son decided to become a vegetarian, and I wasn't going to force him. Um, of course, I did encourage it, but I wasn't going to be pissed off at him if he decided that he didn't want to become a vegetarian. Um, I showed him some. I showed him a video off of uh, YouTube about meat and chickens and he was like ew and I was like okay if you want to become a vegetarian then you know you can't have your bacon you can't have your you know your chicken and I let him know what he could not have and he said okay now movies the documentaries I have Netflix and um, documentaries like Food Inc Fat Sick Nearly Dead Veducated and other videos on YouTube like Food That Kills and there was another one I watched I forgot the name of it but it really did help me decide to become a vegetarian now there are three types of um, vegetarians or and the main one is vegan if and that's the, it's not the main one but the main people who do not eat no meat products or no animal products at all, those are the vegans. Um, they don't eat eggs, dairy products, or even honey. Many vegans also avoid anything made from animal products like leather, fur, and wool. The lacto-vegetarians eat dairy products but not eggs. And the lacto-ovo-vegetarians eat both eggs and dairy products. And that is the most common group of vegetarians that, that people um, think of when they say they're a vegetarian. Now, being a vegetarian is not as hard as I would think. I do miss the fish. I'm not going to lie. That's one thing I love is, is fish. Like, I love bacon, but I love fish. Nothing can because they have a whole bunch of products that can replace, um, the, I guess, they're soy-based. Like, they have soy, chicken, like, wings. So, it's not really chicken, but it tastes like chicken. They have ground soy meat. Um, which I did not like. They have soy bologna, which tastes good. So that was fine. But you can't replace the taste of fish. And I think that's one thing that I'm going to miss. They even have soy bacon. So everything that has to do with seafood is going to be truly missed. But I'm going to be okay. It's not going to, it's like not a, it's not a, that important. If that makes any sense, like, I'm not going to die because I don't have no fish or crab, you know? Why did you become a vegetarian? Because I just thought it was something I needed to do. And to help me lose weight. Mm-hmm. Now, the weight thing. I was 194 pounds. I was on the Atkins diet. I was eating meat galore. I was eating all the bacon I wanted, the hamburgers I wanted. Just I was chowing down on meat, literally. And I, when I researched what they put in our meat and what they did and everything when it comes to the animals, I was really grossed out. Like it was just so disgusting to me. I'm being a vegetarian. Not only to help me in the weight thing, but also to get my body rid of all that, you know, that gunk, you know, I ate, uh, it was, it wasn't a cheeseburger, because I was still on the Atkins diet, but I did eat a, a burger without the bread, well, not really a burger, then the, the patty, <laughs> but, um, I ate it, and I ate three of them, it was with cheese, I think, and bacon, I forgot what brand, but it was really good, the next morning, I kind of felt groggy, and my stomach felt kind of, I don't know, it just didn't feel right. And I was like, dang, that's kind of weird. And it, I just, it, that turned me off. I was eating some chicken wings a few weeks ago from CC's Pizza. Joe's chicken wings were so good. I was waxing, right? And, and mind you, I knew about the antibiotics um, that are in our meat. And I'm just eating, and then I just started to look at the chicken wing, and I'm like, whoa, this is a big chicken wing. Like, it probably has antibiotics. 
And then that kind of like turned me off, and I just like, you know what? I can't. It was from TC Pizza too. Life. I told them. I said, you know what? When you make my chicken, put it in three times, three times, so because it tasted just like fried, and I couldn't eat fried. You see, I was still on the Atkins diet. But yeah, me is now was just like a turn off. Now I think about like my dog, and I'm like, would I eat my dog? No. It's it's just a, it's just a weird thing, but. Not only is it healthy for your body, but it helps your cholesterol, and it, it's just an overall healthy thing to do, become a vegetarian, I think, in my opinion. Now, I have my sister who eats meat, and she says, you know what? Oh, well, it's there to eat, and I'm going to eat it. And, you know, that's how she feels, and I'm not going to. I'm not the type of vegetarian that is forces that down somebody's throat, you know, like, you're going to be a vegetarian. Like, really, no. Someone who wants to ask me questions of why, that's fine, like, I would tell them. But, um, as for trying to convert people to becoming a vegetarian is a no-go. Now, I'm trying my best to get myself off of cheese. I love cheese. Oh, I love cheese. It's just so good. I, I just, that is so hard. Cheese. Y'all, cheese is something that I'm really going to have to wean myself off of. Because it's so delicious to me. So good. Like, my son can't have milk products. But he can eat uh, the soy cheese. Which doesn't taste that bad on a sandwich. But, ugh, I don't know. Anyway. um, Now, with the thing about soy is that you can't well you're not really supposed to have so much soy like soy can be a bad product for you um does mess with your estrogen levels and i don't know it's just i'm trying my best not to get a lot of soy now um like when i want to have some type of milk i either get almond milk or rice milk so yeah, I think that's the best, at least for my family anyway. Um, what else? When you become a vegetarian, do not forget to watch your sugar your sugar levels. Um, you know, when you consume a lot of breads and pastas, that can, can mess with your sugar levels. And just know that because you're a vegetarian doesn't mean that you're always going to be healthy. You have to eat healthy food to be healthy. You have to, you know, not only eat healthy food, but even exercise. Even though, you know, exercising is something that a lot of people don't want to do, but it's something that you should do. Also, vegan, I can't become a vegan because I love the pastas and I love the breads, you know, but, you know, you have to have some type of portion control. So, being a vegan is not an option for me because I do like to eat. Um, lots of other foods that vegans cannot eat. Now, I know I mentioned earlier that I weighed 194 pounds and I'm the Atkins diet and I went from 194 pounds to 161 pounds from October 2012 until now and this is um, 4 6 2013. It was hard as hell because since I was on the Atkins diet, I could not eat pasta and bread and things like that. But now I can. So I'm trying my best not to gain my weight back because I don't want that. So I'm thinking about eating a lot more raw foods. Or if I do cook them, not cook them to a certain like a degree. Um, so if I cook like bell pepper, not cooking them to however much I'm not supposed to cook them too. I forgot. But yeah. I'm trying to eat more raw foods basically in my diet. Alright, bye.